welcome to the National Solar Tour. Uh, my name is Praneet and we are in Apex, North Carolina. And this is our house and our solar installation. As you can see, uh, the inverter is here. And I'm an electrical engineer. Uh, so even my wife is electrical engineer. So naturally we have an attraction to solar systems, right? And I, I specialize in power electronics, uh, which, uh, which means like uh, making circuits like this. Uh, so I was always fascinated by solar. So on our previous house in Morrisville, uh, we had about three kilowatt system. And back in 2011, uh, we were the second household in Morrisville uh, to install solar panels. And that time the solar boom was just uh, starting to take off. And when we moved here last year, uh, we had this in mind that we want to do it again. Yeah, so in this system, we have 20 panels. Uh, each one is 315 watt. So total is 6.3 kilowatt. And on a good day, it is producing about 40 kilowatt hours. Uh, that's very good. And over the last four months, uh, it's consistently uh, been above 800 kilowatt hours. And so far uh, this year, we have done about 5.8 megawatt hours. So that's really good. So for the past four months, our electric bill was almost zero, I would say. So there's a basic charge of $16 and that was it. Being from India, uh, we keep uh, our thermostats at like 78, 80. So that saves on the electricity as well. But we have an uh, electric vehicle to charge. So it takes some, uh, some energy out of this. So, but overall we are happy with the, uh, the production. Now the roof is almost facing southwest and panels get shaded in the late afternoons uh, due to the tall trees. So if a panel is shaded or dirty, it will produce much less power or current. As the panels have to share the same current, the shaded panel can affect the whole string. Thanks to the intelligent inverter system from SolarEdge, we do not have to worry about such underperforming panels. So each panel is fitted with a DC optimizer, which essentially isolates this problem. Thus, maximum possible power is still extracted from the whole string. These DC optimizers share their energy information with the wall-mounted inverter below, which transmits that to the cloud. So you can monitor the energy generation at the panel level and the system level from your smartphone. You can see this daily, weekly, and monthly energy production numbers in kilowatt hours. And it is really satisfying to see these numbers from time to time. It is like seeing your garden grow and produce flowers and fruits. So this is our 2013 Nissan Leaf and we love it. We had this combination of solar panels. We got the EV and that's the best combination that you should have. So if you buy an EV, then you should get solar panels, or if you get solar panels, then you should buy an EV, um, because they go hand in hand. The solar rebates on top of that, uh, that just make the math uh, a no-brainer. So are like one year into the EV, we stopped, or even the solar panels, we stopped counting like what the payback is. It, it, it is there, we know, so there's no point in like, just keeping the count and whether we, it is paying back or not, it's going to eventually pay back. The top three reasons why I went solar is, uh, first thing is definitely environmental impact. The second thing is definitely there is the payback. So once it's paid for, it will keep saving you electric bills and that's a good investment. And the third is just I'm a technology fan, so I love to install this and see its returns.